Hi, welcome back. I'm doing the uh, heavies challenge. Um, it's going to be doing getting burnt. Another fun one here. Um, again, this one I'm using Glenn and my two hunters. Again, I'm just dragging Glenn along for the extra tomatoes for right now. I will definitely be switching him out for a hunter or a, maybe a shooter with long range just because. Uh, at some point, it'll definitely be uh, another hunter, I'm sure, just to get all the uh, damage I can. Since uh, you, know, you got to charge up your uh, shooter in order to uh, get that charge going for that critical. It'll be fast, but there's so many walkers there, you want to do as much damage as you can. Now the uh, burning damage has changed just a little bit. Um, it's not too much to worry about. Darn it, they keep doing that. All right, um, I'm gonna leave one of the uh, 12s alive for one round, just so uh, I can see how much damage they do to themselves. And like I say, it's a little different from what it was uh, a month or two months ago or whatever, when they revamped it. So, this is not, you know, generally I just go straight in here and just, you know, take out as many of these guys as I can at once, but what I'm going to do this time is uh, kill a move. Uh, I'll just overwatch it and see if I can't. I just want to see what their damage is. There we go, 29. I didn't see what the 11s were, but I can click on them and find out. So there you go. Do a little subtraction there. Looks like 25 for the 11s. And there you go. 29. Yay, math. Oh. So anyway, so uh, generally the first shot is through here. And taking out as many walkers as you can. Got lucky on that one. because <laughs> I certainly wasn't going to have Glenn hit him. He doesn't need a 200 damage from uh, the fire. So also what I've been doing uh, the last couple times is uh, waiting for this first spawn before I you know really work my way back into here. You know, because of the shorter range of the hunters now and the distance they have between uh, the gate here. You know, um, I'll show you here in a second. So let's bring down Glenn just for an extra pair of eyes. You know, and again, oops, you can click on these guys and see how many damage it's been, you know, how many turns it's been, so. So with one turn left to go, I'm going to uh, just bring Clyde down to here, bring Anthony all the way down, just for the spawn. I think that should, there we go. And I'll just let the uh, last one over there just sit there and burn. For this turn anyway. So you can't see it right now, but you know, there's a couple spawn on the top. And uh, like I say, generally there's two more spawn where uh, Clyde and Anthony are at. And these guys, so. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, get Glennon a hit there. Ah, there's the old auto center. Nasty. So 
So I may trade uh, Clyde and Anthony, you know, let Anthony go up and have Clyde go back up and start clearing the top again. So Glenn's going to have to actually do a little work. And dirty. All right. And yeah, neither one of those look particularly appetizing, but I'll take that shot. See if Anthony can dodge, otherwise I'll get some data for uh, <laughs> getting burned. Uh-oh, it looks like burn data's coming in. Oh, but Anthony dodged. Anthony said he didn't want to be a statistic. All right, there we go. So we've got a couple more turns here. Um, and that's what you like about the scout now is you can run halfway across the uh, map and unlock a chest. Now, unfortunately, you still got to unlock the gate, which uh, it didn't turn there. Yeah, poor old Anthony ain't going to make it there. So we'll let Glenn open the gate first, so that way he doesn't get blocked out. Let's move Anthony right below him. And I'm going to move Clyde down here at the bottom for the spawn. That'll work. Usually, like I say, you aim for the middle, but this one's so far back, it automatically gets that one. And then I don't worry about the other few that are left, the stragglers. Just head on into the exit. So, I mean, you could do that either way. Either take everybody around now, or, you know, still leave somebody up there to take out the uh, extra walkers on top. And I'm not going to chase the uh, silver chest. But like I say, especially on for this one, you're going to need the range. Because like I say, you don't want to take all that damage for uh, melee, all that burn damage. Well, thank you for watching, and I will catch you down the road.